heard that Ridley Scott was going to get back into where he kind of started in the science fiction world, I was really excited. It was rumored that it would be tied into this universe where he had explored before, but nothing was really confirmed. It was all speculation. I just couldn't be more excited. I almost I didn't want to really know anything about the film. I didn't want to know if it actually was part of this universe or he was just trying to make a new science fiction movie, explore new ideas. I, I mean, I really love Ridley Scott. And for me, he's made a lot of great films that, uh, that are right behind me in this collection. When the teaser for Prometheus came out, and I'm going to be talking about Prometheus, <laughs> I forgot to mention that, but when the teaser came out, I did see the teaser. I saw the one minute teaser. There were images in the teaser where it was like, that looks very familiar, and that looks very familiar, and that looks very familiar. But I didn't really want to know if it was all tied into that universe, that world that was created so long ago. So when the trailer finally got released, I I still haven't I have not seen the trailer to the film. Every time the trailer would come on, I go to the movies a lot, and I and I probably had the opportunity to see the trailer at least ten times. I would take off my glasses, cover my face with my beanie, and cover my ears and sing to myself, um, like that song part in in the movie where it goes boom boom. But I've seen Prometheus now in IMAX, in 3D. They actually gave us these cool posters. And of course, this one I've ar already owned. But they gave us these cool posters uh, indicating when we saw Prometheus in IMAX, the time, and the date. So now that I've seen Prometheus, I've just got so many emotions right now. It's really hard to explain because I really wanted this film to be the perfect film from all the ideas that I had in my brain that I don't know if I could you know throw up on a screen very well but I just had all these great ideas like what this could be how exciting this could be and now that I've seen Prometheus it's not a perfect film but it's still pretty damn great do I understand everything that I've witnessed on screen does it all tie into this universe perfectly I ask these questions. I don't really know. I, I do plan to see the movie a few more times. There's a lot of things that really worked for me in this film. The production value, the costume design, the special effects. I, again, I saw it in 3D, and I love that 3D where you can stick your hand in and you feel like the world, you, just, it looks, you can explore all aspects of this world that they're created. I like the characters, some more than others. The look and the feel of the planet and the ship and how it does go right into this but this movie does get really ambitious and like over the top in in two hours and five minutes they just crammed a lot of ideas and my brain hurts right now because I'm still trying to process all these ideas there's a lot of things I just don't understand and that kind of hurt the experience just a little bit even though I did try to focus on all the aspects of all the great camera work and production, the great direction by Ridley Scott. I don't know if I fully understand the story or comprehend it well right now. I don't know if I ever will. I do plan on again seeing the movie. I might do another video where I talk more about it and how it might have to do with this whole universe that was created long ago with some previous movies. There's so many things I do like about it. I don't know if it's nitpicking to not like the things I like. I think there are problems in this movie that don't make a lot of sense. I had a friend see the film with me. He doesn't know what's happened in the previous this this universe. So this, this whole thing is new to him and he he did like it for the production value and all that stuff, but you know, he's scratching his head as well. I can't help but uh you know see you know his point and a few other friends that saw the movie with me tonight that we all have these questions that I don't know if the filmmakers knew the answers to or just had a lot of great visual ideas. There's just a lot of stuff happening in this film and I'm gonna have to go and see it again. I have a lot of questions. If you've seen the movie, how do you feel? Are you upset by this film? Did this film not, you know, succeed in your eyes? To me, it succeeded you know, maybe 75-80% of the time. It's not a perfect film. I was really hoping it would be a perfect film. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to go see it again a few more times, and 
I, I hope to put out another video you know hopefully you know get a discussion going with people who have seen it and how they feel about it whether they like it or not please comment and let me know if you've seen the movie like this video please subscribe I'm going to give Prometheus the new Ridley Scott film three and a half stars out of four I wish I could give this movie four stars I really wanted to because there's just so much happening but then I've got so many I don't know I just I'm bothered by some things that I just don't understand right now I mean this video could go on for hours and hours and hours of me trying to explain but I think I'm going to soak all in what I've got right now thank you for watching and please uh, subscribe to we live film on YouTube and I, I do recommend you go see this movie especially if you love science fiction and you love Ridley Scott I'm just gonna have to I'm really gonna have to go see this again and, and think about it I mean there's just, it's very this movie is very ambitious maybe overly ambitious but it is very interesting and entertaining and beautiful to watch. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna be quiet now. And uh, <laughs> it's really late. Just got back from the midnight showing, so I'm about to head to bed. Just had the opportunity this week to talk to Romero Movie News, and I highly recommend you check out that channel and please subscribe. He's about to hit his one year anniversary. Congratulations, Romero Movie News. I'm proud to be a subscriber, and I highly recommend you subscribe as well. Talk to you later.